Good morning, good afternoon, good evening for everybody watching wherever you are today. Now, imagine you go home from this amazing conference learning all this incredible utility that's available. And you're looking for your, you know, you walk into your home and nothing has changed, right? Then 221 days later, you remember, hey, I've got this incredible widget in my underwear drawer. Let me go check on that. But little did you know that somebody, while you were at the conference, snuck through a window, grabbed your stuff, and took off with it. That is what's happening today in the cybersecurity world. 221 days is the global average for the detection of a data breach. Unacceptable, right? The internet is broken. And this is because of this heavy reliance on trusted third parties that require us to put all of our information into a honeypot where cyber attackers are highly incentivized to breach because now they can take all of your records in a one-stop shop, sell them on the dark web, and be on with their day. Greg and I and our team at Smart Ledger, in collaboration with IBM, who you just heard from earlier, wanted to attack this problem and, you know, really provide a solution of a value proposition that can mitigate this data breach. And so we developed an application called CertaHash Sentinel Node, which is the first of five that oversee or that are based upon the NIST cybersecurity framework. And we started with detection, which is in the middle of the NIST framework, for one simple reason. It's the biggest problem we have. We have to start somewhere with being able to identify when somebody's in our home, when somebody's in our network and stealing data. And after 221 days, it's very difficult to go back and do the due diligence. And wh why? What is, what is the problem here? Well, the problem is detection softwares are very expensive. Yeah, actually, most small business, mid-market uh, companies are unable to afford these type of seam detection tools. And so being able to provide uh, instant detection would be extremely valuable. And, you know, there's all sorts of cybersecurity tools and software is available. I've been a digital transformation consultant for 20 years. I've consulted with some of the biggest companies and governments on the planet, even the smallest businesses. The last 12 years of those, that career was mainly on cybersecurity. And it's what brought me to blockchain. Uh, listening to Dr. Craig Wright, uh, back in 2016, I was introduced to this entirely new infrastructure that could provide a resilient uh, cybersecurity, you know, not just detection system, but start repairing this broken aspect of what we experience today with the heavy reliance on trusted third parties. So as you'll see by the slide, you know, this is an ongoing problem. It's not going to be fixed if we just continue with the status quo. We need something that actually provides these valuable tools, and that's exactly what Sentinel Node does, and you'll see a demo here today. And you'll actually see a couple videos that we'll be releasing for the first time for all of you to kind of understand what this new infrastructure provides and the value proposition that it provides even to you, the companies that may be using and collecting your data, that it's your data. So. Today, I am going to start with this video. I am data log, a simple data entry file created to serve my company. Little do I know, my life is about to take an unexpected turn. In this vast digital landscape, we data files exist in a legacy environment. Unbeknownst to us, our vulnerabilities are exposed, and danger could be just around the corner. There are those who seek to exploit our weaknesses. They hide in the shadows, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. One day, it happens. The cyber hacker infiltrates our server and manipulates me. I feel different, but there's no way for anyone to know what happened. Or so I thought. Then, our company adopts Certahash Sentinel Node. It's a game changer. The Sentinel Node creates a chain of hashes for each file entry, protecting us like never before. Our hashes are placed on a public blockchain ledger, ensuring transparency and security. It's like having a guardian angel watching over us. When the cyber hacker tries to cover their tracks, Sentinel Node detects the hash break immediately. 
an alert is sent to the system administrator, and the breach is discovered in an instant. The cyber hacker's plan is foiled. They thought they could evade detection, but Sertahash Sentinel Node has put an end to their malicious activities. Thanks to Sertahash Sentinel Node, we data files can now live in a secure environment, free from the threats that once haunted us. Our company can rest easy, knowing that our data is safe. And you'll notice that something like this can only happen on a blockchain that's able to scale to the likes of the BSV blockchain. What we're doing is actually every 10 seconds, and we've been able to go down to 0.2 seconds, is to get this granular, granular data insight as far as what, um, what windows that have been opened and providing, and you heard it in the video, immediate, instant detection. And that allows the administrators to go back through and begin to mitigate the problem. Because you can't mitigate a problem that you're not going to learn about for 221 days. It also allows you to not send your sensitive data as a company or a government to a third party provider in a cloud. And then have another third party provider come and look and analyze that data and then say, hey, 220 days ago, you guys were hacked, right? Um, th that's just not acceptable. And this is where, you know, you'll see this live demo today. Uh, it's going to provide instant detection. And, and ironically, the refresh rate of Web 2 is 10 seconds slower than the detection that we'll be able to have. As we mentioned before, one of the very first things that occurs you know, after somebody has been able to breach your network is they're going to try to hide their tracks. And it's that thin line that you see right there on the screen uh, between gaining access and, and really causing uh, chaos into your network that we're trying to speed up the process for. And so we're going to go right to a live demo with Mr. Gregory Ward. Uh, you want to bring that up? How's it going, everybody? My name is Greg Ward. I'm the Chief Development Officer of Smart Ledger. Uh, before I begin the demo, uh, just to reiterate, as Brian said, one of the things that is fantastic about blockchain, specifically scalable blockchain like BSV, is this high-resolution ability to capture transactions at a micro-transaction, uh, one, one five thousand of a penny. So you're able to get, as Brian said, a high-resolution, almost like a, a, imagine having in your home the highest 8K video camera, 24 hours a day, watching over everything. You know when somebody's been in your room. You know when somebody's gone through your things. You know instantly what's been touched. With Certihash Sentinel Node, data integrity is everything. We want to, when we, when we send data to somebody, you want to know that what you sent arrives. What's the point of sending data if it doesn't arrive intact? Data integrity is everything, and that's what blockchain provides. Within the Sentinel node, within the cybersecurity world, you have outside actors, you have inside actors. What Sentinel node does is it provides a high resolution, auditable tracking of all chosen monitored logs and files. After these logs and monitored files are chosen, the administrator then has a, uh, a window into this, this, this hash chain. Anything that breaks within this hash chain, any modifications, any unauthorized modifications, the administrators alert it instantly, and then he's required to sign a note stating what he did on behalf of this activity that just occurred in his network, signed by his private key, pu published onto the blockchain once again for auditability's purposes. So we have a high resolution monitoring of files that are chosen. And then we have the auditability of the actions taken by the administration. All right. So we're here at certahash.io, uh, and we're going to go ahead and log in with our enterprise E2 wallet once again, as I stated, so we could have a private public key pair assigned to our administrator. Okay, so now that we are inside Sentinel node, you're going to see on the right side here, 100% performance. We have three files uh, and logs that we're monitoring on one connected device. 
Uh, we have an Ubuntu server that we're monitoring, and as you see, 100% performance. That means that everything is intact, everything is being monitored, no problems. On our left side, we have the health. The health indicates if any alerts have come in that have been unattended and we need to get attention to immediately. Uh, as you see, all health is intact. What we'll go ahead and uh, look at real quick is in our devices, as you can see, we have our chosen device and our chosen logs and files that we're doing uh, monitoring every 10 seconds, placing these hash chains on the BSV blockchain. This test file here, we'll, we will be hacking in uh, real time. Okay, so we're gonna go over here to our demo environment where you'll see on our right side is Sentinel node refreshing every 10 seconds. On our left side is what we'll call our hackers attacking console. And so we will go ahead and uh, pretend we are, the, we are the hacker. We have just discovered a, uh, a way to get into the system. And now we are in. So let's go ahead and uh, Okay, we just entered and modified this file. Normally, 221 days. You're going to about to see 220 days, 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 10, and 10 seconds, I don't know, 50 seconds, seconds quicker. We could do a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We didn't even get a chance to count. Already it's discovered this unexpected change on the test file has occurred. As you notice, on the left side, we show you the hash before the break and the hash after the break. If we come over to our demo on the right side of, of CERTA hash, and we click on the alert, we'll see this hash right here matches this hash right here. As you see underneath it, same hashes, same hashes, same hashes, until all of a sudden there was a detection of a break and we had an unexpected change. The file uh, was supposed to be uneditable and someone came in and edited it. You have two choices now as an admin. Let's go over and switch over to our Sentinel node. You have two choices as an admin. If you know that there was a, an action that was taken maybe by you or by someone in the uh, uh, organization or some kind of update that you we're aware of that should have happened. You could simply just dis dismiss the alert. You still are required to uh, leave a note specifically stating what you did, what, what was the alert based upon. Or if you find it was an actual unauthorized breach, you come in and you could reset this hash chain. So it shows you that something occurred, the administrator went ahead and took some tools that he had at his disposal, rectified the problem and reset the chain. So that way we have a fresh start from this hash chain going forward. Let's go ahead and uh, reset the, uh, let's go ahead and dismiss it since we are aware of what we were just doing. Whoops, let's go ahead, click on our alert. Okay, and we'll come down here and we'll say dismiss the alert. No breaches or that was uh, admin was testing. Update at London Blockchain Conference 2023. And we submit that. All right, what you're gonna go see now is 100% uh, health is back again. As you see, this red uh, mark has changed into a green uh, check mark stating that the admin has taken care of the, uh, the breach or the alert. And as you see here, there's a transaction ID. This is a published transaction ID that we could go over to the uh, blockchain and, and check out. Here's our transaction ID number. And if you see right here on our right, we have a sort of hash transaction. And what we have right there is our hash. Now, it's not the hash of just that file alone. It is the hash header of all of the network in its entirety. The admin receives a very specific granular alert of the very specific monitored file so we could see what was happening, which file was breached. On the blockchain, we have the entirety 
right? Because you're able to reconstruct afterwards for auditors, for regulators, for internal administrators that want to know what happened, what did you do, what, how did you fix it? We have this ability to reconstruct the entire network state simply based upon this hash header. If we come back in here, we will see once again, we have 100% performance. All connected files and devices are being monitored and once again, our health is at 100%. If you come in and you look at your alerts, you could go ahead and again, check back, see your hashes, see your hashes, and as you see, just continuously, every 10 seconds, no problem. You want instant detection, no problem. Third hash Sentinel node has you covered. Thank you very much. So I know that's super impressive. I mean, honestly, it has a major impact into all of our lives, right? Because if, if the places that you're uh, putting your data in are not protected or they potentially have a data breach and those records make it to the dark web, it's your data that's going to be uh, being sold and, and bargained uh, uh, with criminals, right? And this is where um, we're extremely excited to be able to provide this type of instant detection in a world where it just goes largely unnoticed for months. I mean, every day there is a, a hack or a breach. Every single day, probably every 10 seconds there's a hack or a breach. And it's not going to get better. I, again, I've sold this technology for 12 different years. Everything, if you plugged it in, it had a light, it made a sound, I consulted on it. And it, the problem was it never solved the problem because of just this heavy reliance on these trusted parties. And so now we're, we're very excited to be able to mitigate those attack vectors by not sending your sensitive data to a third party provider, provider by not having additional eyes within your own um, network, but still being able to provide this type of resolution to others. Now think about this in the cyber insurance industry where you know, the premiums are going up, the coverage is going down, and it's very difficult for even small business, uh, you know, mid-market enterprises to get this type of insurance. And even more so, the in industry is in danger of actually collapsing. Because guess what? They're spending, or they're writing more checks than they're receiving in. Well, again, this type of tool can help, you know, lower those costs, improve some of the coverage, just in providing that oversight that Greg uh, demonstrated with the administrator. Not that you have to tell them that, you know, what you were doing as far as uh, when you were hacked, but at least they have a notification how fast you responded. What did you do if need be? And now they can, you can negotiate potentially for a lower premium or more coverage that they're not offering because you're providing this real time you know, data attestation of what's happening within your network. Um, and so we've done a lot of work to utilize this tool as a way to introduce blockchain as an infrastructure, as plumbing, not as just a financial instrument, as we've discussed for the last two days here. Um, infrastructure is important. And as we move forward in, you know, this extreme era, data era where there's a proliferation of smart devices, IoT, drones, you name it, we need to be able to maintain the, the integrity of that data as well as the integrity of our networks. So we've been working a lot with various uh, you know, defense departments and uh, various other agencies to introduce this. And we're really excited in the sense of it does not require somebody to unplug everything that they already have in their cybersecurity suite. They can actually utilize this technology by w allowing it to work in concert. And then that will provide them, you know, the ability to sort of see the value of what this offers without them just walking out of plank, trusting Greg, trusting Brian, you know, try it, touch it, feel it. And, you know, one of the other big announcements that we're really excited to share is, you know, this right now is uh, all Linux based. And we are actually moving this out towards Windows-based systems, as well as the home user. Uh, as we've noticed since COVID, there's a lot of people that are working from home. And this really would be a tool that could help them maintain their own integrity of their own networks. And, you know, 
we expect uh, over the next year that you'll continue to hear more announcements on Serta Hash and some of our other uh, applications and modules that we'll be releasing. And you know, this is available today, right? This is not 18 months in the future. This is available today, right now. And you know, with that, you know, I, I didn't plan on this, but I would love if there are any questions that somebody may have. So you basically have an app in your phone that these messages get sent to. Is that how that works? Yep, yep. You, uh, you receive alerts. The administrator. So essentially, the administrator, uh, when they sign up the organization, uh, they are the first admin, essentially, right? Uh, they have the ability to add other users just regular users who could receive alerts, who they could share alerts with, but can't make modifications. They could also add other admins. All of these added users will receive the instant alerts. Is it your vision that this would be a system that would, someone would apply to all their data, or, or something that you would just look at the most valuable data? Uh, how do you see this? So we've identified at least 20 to 25 logs, or, you know, uh, system logs and files that you would want to monitor and includes the very first one that you would monitor would be Sentinel node for any changes um, And then what that provides uh, is just a, an ability for any uh, Company or government to say hey, we want to focus on these uh, most prevalent files that, that get manipulated or get breached. Um, but we also provide uh, additional log bundles that can be added to, as far as you can cover every log file on your system. And that's the beauty about this is because of the cost of microtransactions, right? We're putting, I believe, 8,694 records a day, a day, right? To give you these snapshots of a state of a network on chain. You could not do this on any other blockchain. We've looked, we've looked high and low. You could not do it on any other blockchain. So we really needed the scalability, the security of proof of work, and just the, the sheer uh, nano cost of transactions that BSV offers to be able to provide this, you know, granular insight. Yeah. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Study about cybersecurity insurance and the difference between bond industry and white paper on policy. And the dirty secret is the insurance industry is resistant to actuarial modeling of this because it ends in psychotic losses. So it's just a thumb in the air and they charge what they can that refuse to pay. Is this, are you getting feedback that this will actually enable them to go back to an actuarial model and actually deliver a real service? We are preliminary conversations that we're introducing it because we just launched it just a few weeks ago. Um, those conversations are going great, right? It's just a matter of bringing the education to understand what this infrastructure provides and what the problem is, right? I think a lot of people don't identify what the problem is. And again, it's the heavy reliance on a trusted third party. Um, so once you can identify that and instead of, you know, and distribute those records across uh, many, it makes it economically inconceivable for somebody to attempt that. But yeah, I mean, the conversations that we've, you know, started in that industry and as well as the telecommunications industry where there's a lot of managed service providing solutions that they want to offer, it's been huge, right? I, I think this is something that you'll see over the next, you know, six months to a year where, you know, they're going to start kicking the tires, want to understand where this technology is and what that value proposition is. But I do see it almost as um, an ability for these companies and, you know, uh, insurance carriers to have more granular resolution of the so uh, offerings that they're providing their customers, as well as getting that feedback. Because again, they're writing more checks than they're receiving. And they're, as you mentioned, they're not covering the majority of stuff. Actually, the insurance is actually worse than what it was three, four years ago. Um, yeah. Yes, sir. Um, how difficult is it for a hacker to modify the hash? And how, is it, how easy is it for you to install the chain? Because the blockchain is supposed to be resistant. Sure. Uh, well, I mean, as you, as you said, the. Uh, the files themselves are being hashed and immediately sent out. Um, the the agent's uh, network, or I'm sorry, the agent software lives in the network of the uh, protected user, uh, continually hashing every 10 seconds. Um, I mean, so you're going to have this chain, right? I mean, from the moment you set it in motion. So if, if, unless a hacker is, is waiting there in your system, ready to punch you out as soon as you're like you're installing it, uh, 
you know, obviously it wouldn't get installed correctly if that was the case. But you, the moment you set it in motion, you're getting hashes created. So it's going to break the, the moment that somebody modifies anything. If they modified the hash, well, then you're going to get a hash break, right? Because the, the file themselves, if you change a period, a comma, a, a anything, the hash changes. A capital letter to a lowercase letter, hash changes. So if a, if a hacker came in to change the ha hash, well, that's just, you might as well just throw yourself in jail. Right? Yeah, and it serves as a tripwire, yeah. right? They're not going to... Detect it. Do you need a high level hacker or is it easy? Because I've never heard, uh, you know, a hash being modified so easily. I, I remember Interpol tried to do this at the British University years ago and they, have, they need a lot of computer power. So how often do you see this? Sure, sure. I mean, I, I would say that certainly it's going to depend upon the cybersecurity profile of the overall network and organization to begin with. Um, as far as the hash file or the hash itself, you know, that's, that's being generated instantly on the spot from each uh, monitored file and log and then the hash header put together. Uh, again, you know, it's going to depend upon the skill of the hacker, the cybersecurity profile of the organization, if they can get towards that place to start modifying anything whatsoever. If they modify the hash, we're getting alerts immediately, right? So no matter what, it's, it's instant detection whether you're at this side of it, or if you're at this side of it, you're in the side, or if you're on the outside. And, and I'm sorry, we don't have any yep. more questions. Please find us. I would like to leave you with one last Packers video. Thank you so attacks. much. Yeah. Enjoy the conference. Thank you so much, guys. Cyber threats are a major concern for businesses today. The average cost of a data breach is $4.24 million, and the average time to detect a breach is 221 days. That's why our team at CertiHash created Sentinel Node, a next generation cybersecurity detection platform that uses blockchain technology to provide unprecedented levels of security and accountability. Sentinel Node monitors chosen logs and files every 10 seconds, detecting even the slightest anomaly. Combined with blockchain technology, Sentinel Node provides extreme auditability. This means that any changes to the system are immediately recorded and tamper evident, providing a secure and reliable source of information for administrators and auditors. Setting up a new cybersecurity system can be a daunting task, but with Sentinel Node, we provide a white glove onboarding process. Our team will handle the installation and configuration of the agent software, ensuring a seamless and fast setup. Sentinel Node uses this data to continuously monitor for anomalies and unauthorized changes. If it detects a breach or anomaly, it instantly alerts the administrator. Unlike traditional detection platforms and SIEM systems that require a time-consuming manual analysis of logs, Sentinel Node automates the detection process and provides real-time alerts, reducing the time to detect a breach from months to seconds. The administrator must acknowledge the alert by turning the alert off and writing a note about the actions they took. The note is signed with the administrator's private key, providing an additional layer of security and accountability. This signed note is published to the blockchain for accountability, auditability, and attestation using the time-stamped blockchain features. This means that any action taken by the administrator is immediately recorded and tamper-evident, providing a secure and reliable source of information for auditors and regulators. With Sentinel Node, businesses can detect and respond to cyber threats in real time, reducing the risk of costly data breaches and minimizing the impact of any security incidents. Our platform provides a faster setup, faster detection, and faster response than traditional detection platforms and SIEM systems, making it an essential tool for any business that takes cybersecurity seriously. And the best part? Sentinel Node is an overlay system that runs alongside your current cybersecurity platforms and systems, requiring no changes to your current setup. It's not a question of if you get hacked, it's a matter of when you get hacked. Be prepared with Sentinel Node. ESV is more than another chaotic commodity craze. 
BSV Blockchain can do more than just be a crypto investment. It can help you get more out of your games, share more of your art. BSV makes more things possible.